So much to see, so much to learn. We're talking about art, so much to be reminded of, like the, the different styles and what they mean. Earlier we were talking fine art, now we're talking abstract art. Yes. And here we have Stephen Schubert at his studios in Beaver Creek, the 34th Annual Art Festival. Let's meet Stephen. Welcome to Ville Valley Live. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Let's get into the basics of, of the, what we learned in school about art. Yeah. And now we're thinking abstract art. Okay. What does that mean? So abstract art is basically something that is an expression of your unconscious. And it can take basically what I do. I take all the experiences that I have. You want me to relate to you more directly or to the audience in, in Beaver Creek? So basically an abstract piece is something that you take that moves you emotionally or that you get you see in, in real life. It, it can come out of your unconscious, as I mentioned earlier. And one of the most powerful things about it is that it has a fascinating effect on the brain. Ooh. Science has proven that abstracts, and I'll get a little bit more into what an abstract really <laughs> Please. is. So it's, it's taking an image, and if you were to blur your eyes, and that image no longer looks exactly like what it represents in a real form, that is the beginning of something getting abstracted. So it's taking the form and the, and the traditional images that we relate to. Like for example, I've done aspen trees here. Now they're recognizable as aspen trees, but I've mixed it in an abstract style. So even though the, the, the actual trees themselves represent aspens, I've used bubble wrap to create the effect of oh. shimmer out the leaves. And it's almost, this is how it feels to me. When I it hit, hit the fall and the aspen leaves, it's like someone took handfuls of gold coins and threw them in the air, and when the light hits them, they shimmer and they fall down, and that's the feeling I had. That's what I wanted to create in this piece. And that does happen in the fall, when the aspen leaves fall to the ground with all those gold, shiny things. Yes. That's a very yeah. abstract way of thinking of things. But even the process yes. is a lot but fun. It's different. And so you really have to go there, come up with a process to get here. So this is a totally different piece created. This is, this is called... The, Green Forest, and it's my abstracted interpretation of, for example, the summertime here, where there's yellows and lights that fall. So I'm taking the concept of what it's like to go out and experience nature, and I'm using a spackle knife and dragging paint. And the amount of pressure I apply to the spackle knife will determine how much paint gets left behind and what colors come up from underneath. But I do want to say this about art in general. First of all, it's amazing. If you want to see more art, you can go to artfestival.com. But the other thing is that there's so many people here who are so happy to be out because of COVID, shutting everything down. All the shows went away for quite a while. We're back now, and it's amazing. And I wanted to end with one last thing about art. To me, it represents a marker in time. So it is when someone gets... I actually had a piece of art called 848. It's when I finished the piece of art. Because everything that we do, and every piece of art here that's represented by an artist, is a moment in time that they spent interpreting something and creating a representation so it acts like a diary of sorts. And art is much more than just making you feel good or matching a sofa. It can move you, it can go, a lot of good art, if it's done properly, can take you to a place much deeper than the surface of what you see initially. So That is Stephen Schubert Studios, the art festival kicking off today in Beaver Creek, the 34th annual Don't Miss It. Log online right now, artfestival.com, to find out more. But get into the canvas yourself here in Beaver Creek. It's all around you. And, again, purchase something as well. Thank you very much for coming You're on Bell Valley Live. Absolutely. My pleasure. And when it comes yeah. to art, it's okay to stare. We'll be right back. Please do.